everyone, it's a writer here and welcome to today's redstone video. Today we are in the third video in my little uh, Bedrock Wheat Farm Showcase series. So today we are going to be building this super mega wheat farm for the Bedrock Edition of Minecraft. This thing produces quite a bit of wheat per hour, approximately 35 stacks of wheat and about 19 stacks of seed per hour. So this is an excellent farm if you're on a server. It will probably be quite a bit if you are in a single player world, but if you want to have a ton, a ton of wheat, this farm is the one for you. And yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Now, as per usual, a parts list can be found in the description, but to start out, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a chest, our rails, our powered rails, some hopper minecarts, some hoppers, solid blocks, and a le some levers. So go ahead and build up a couple blocks, just like so, and place down a chest, and place a hopper going into that chest. Now you're gonna wanna get up on that hopper, and once you see that third number start moving, for me, it's oscillating between two and four, you're going to want to build out in one of those two directions with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27 hoppers. And then go all the way back down and go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 27. Now fill in the entire area between these two parts to make a giant square and then we will get into the next step once you have gone ahead and completed that. Alright, and once you've done that, a quick and easy test to make sure that you did place your hoppers in the right spot is to go ahead and place two powered rails right there and another one right there. If this powered rail changes directions to connect up with that one, your hoppers are in the correct way. If it didn't, just go ahead and flip this by 90 degrees and that should fix all your issues. Now what you're going to want to do is go ahead and grab your rails and powered rails and then you're going to want to go rail, powered rail 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 regular rails, 1, 2, 3 powered rails and then take these all the way down until you reach the second to last one where you're going to want to place another powered rail, two regular rails powered rail and then you basically repeat the same thing coming all the way back just kind of matching it up perfectly and powered rail there and then you repeat this uh 12 more times and once we get to the last one there is a special case there and once you reach this last row go ahead and you're going to start regular go ahead place on a powered rail then your 11 regular rails three powered rails and then you're going to continue all the way down until the second one and then you're just going to place two powered rails there instead of the one with a solid block on the end of it. And just so you all know, I am a little bit sick right now, so my voice does sound a little bit gross. But I would prefer to keep having videos for you all. So now what you're going to want to do is directly down the center of your farm, go ahead and place levers down and turn this on. If you would like to, you could instead replace this with redstone blocks. But that is extremely expensive. And then you're going to do the same on the second to last block here. Go ahead and repeat that all the way down your farm in both the center and in this block. All right, so now that all that's done, go ahead and place a solid block on the end of these powered rails and take that all the way down until you reach the beginning, just right there. And then I would recommend go ahead and place a minecart hopper on every other powered rail. There should be a minecart hopper, minecart hopper, jeez on both ends of your farm when you are done. So once we've gone ahead and done that, we're gonna go ahead and get into the redstone. So go ahead and grab yourself some redstone blocks, redstone torches. You're going to need comparators, repeaters, redstone dust, observers. You're of course gonna need hoppers, solid blocks, and go ahead and also grab your pistons. I'm not going to do that yet because I don't have room in my inventory. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is grab your redstone dust and go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And now we are going to go down and out. 
we're going to make a little 2x3 platform. So 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, just like that. Take a repeater output from this block and place a repeater going into both of those blocks set to 1. Take redstone dust along there and then take this redstone dust all the way down to the end. And then I would recommend that you give this thing a test fire to place a block there. Go ahead and quick place and break a redstone torch. All your minecart hoppers should go down and back and stop on top of those hoppers. Just like that. Perfect. So, what you're going to want to do now is we're going to build up a little timing circuit. So go ahead and build out a little bit more here. Place a repeater set to four ticks right there with an observer whose butt is facing into that repeater. And that is going to fire that one more time. And now we're going to build up a little hopper timer. So go ahead and grab um, comparators, redstone dust, pistons. It doesn't have to be a sticky piston. Hoppers, um, solid blocks, the works. So go ahead and build this out just a tiny bit more like so. And then just like that, place piston, piston, redstone block. That, that will, of course, fire off your uh, minecart hoppers again. A hopper there, hopper facing into that hopper, delete that hopper, have a hopper facing in there. Comparator output from both of, oh, I deleted that hopper for some reason. Computer running out both of those hoppers into a solid block. And on the side of that solid block, go ahead and place redstone dust leading directly into that piston. And repeat that on the other side. Redstone dust. And go ahead and in your hoppers, place in two stacks of items. I'm going to go ahead and just grab glass and place those in just like that. And there you go, your hopper minecarts will fire off again. And that is that entire system done. So let's go ahead now and start building up the entire farm. The first thing that you're gonna wanna grab is some dirt or grass blocks, either or, it doesn't matter. And then everywhere, every single spot where there is a rail, you are going to need to place a grass block. And this is going to take a while, and it's gonna be fairly tedious, but if you want that, big number, the huge amount of rates from this farm, you're going to have to do that. All right, and now that that's completed, we can actually start building up the farming part of the farm. So go ahead and grab yourselves some glass, some stairs, some water buckets, your hose, some seeds, some light sources, composters, and beds. I'm gonna go ahead and break those so they don't interfere with our village that we're going to be making over here. Now the first step I would recommend you do is go ahead and at least put up one layer of glass surrounding your farm. And this will just be to help keep your villagers in. You do not have to do this at this point, but once you want to actually start using this farm, this will be required because otherwise your villagers will possibly run out. Things can get in easier and lots of not so fun stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and complete that later, but go ahead and grab some solid blocks and on each of the corners, what you're going to need to do is take out three blocks like that, place down three solid blocks, and then a bed, and make sure there's a solid block at the foot of the bed. So go ahead and repeat that on all four corners, just like so. And then we will get into um, the water sources, hoeing the land where everything needs to go, and stuff like that. So bed there, and our final bed just right here. Just like that. Okay, and now once all that's in, I'm going to go ahead to finish up this glass because it's bothering me a little bit. So, okay. What you're going to want to do now is this is one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Go ahead and break this block. Place a stair in there with a water source there. Now go ahead and count out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Break that block, stair, water source. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Break that block, water source. And then if you, we did this correctly, there should be one, two, three, four, one, and then the bed. So that is perfect. Now you're gonna kind of do the same thing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, stair there. Water log that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stair there, right side up. Water log that 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stay there, water log. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stair, water log. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stair, water log. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stair, water log. Perfect. And that is all of our water log stairs. And go ahead and grab yourself some composters. Place them on top of the stairs in the cardinal directions, just like this. And if you are not going to add a roof to this farm, go ahead and grab yourself some trap doors and place them directly on top of the composters so your villagers do not get stuck in them. Because otherwise they'll be sad and they won't be working in your farm. Now what you're going to need to do is just hoe all the land. And at this time I would also recommend that you plant in all the seeds that you have. And this is very, very important because otherwise your farmers will run out of seeds and start picking up wheat and making bread, which will drop the rates of this farm. And that's not something that you want. So at least you need to plant in all but two rows of this farm. And if you do less than that, your farmers will probably start picking up wheat. There's a small chance that they won't, but there is also, it's pretty dang likely that they will. So go ahead all the land plants in at least almost all the layers. So now that you've planted and hoed all your farmland, what you're going to need to do now is get your villagers in here. So I'm going to build myself up a little villager chamber. I'm going to clear out my inventory and for each villager you're going to need eight stacks of seeds exactly. So I'm going to go ahead and grab those. I grabbed an extra stack. So if you look in the top right hand corner of the video right now, you will see an eye and this will show you a Silent Whispers video on villager breeding in Bedrock Edition of Minecraft and how to basically get a villager in here. And this villager has to be a villager with nothing in his inventory and he cannot be linked to another village. Otherwise, this will not work. So I will just summon in a villager. And that's the easiest way to do it in creative. Then go ahead and drop one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight. If your villager does not pick up all eight stacks, your villager has stuff in his inventory and should not be in your farm. You would have to get rid of that villager because otherwise he will indeed break your farm. So go ahead and repeat that process for three more villagers. There's just one more thing that we need to do before this farm is complete, and that is to place in light sources. So that way at night mobs don't spawn and your crops will continue to grow. So in all the corners, one block above the farm, go ahead and place in a light source. It is actually not required that you will have a ceiling, but I do recommend it. So basically anywhere where there's not a light source, I would recommend placing in a ceiling but that's of course not required. So where you're going to want to place your light sources is of course in the corners and everywhere above the composters or stairs just like this. Of course two blocks above your farm so your villagers can walk through there. And then wherever these light sources line up with the side of your farm also go ahead and place in a light source there. This will keep your area nice and bright and mob proof and make sure that all your crops do indeed have enough light to spawn. And there's just one more area that you need to place in lights, and that is in the middle of these giant squares. In the very center of these giant squares, there is a spot that reaches light level 7, and that is less than ideal, so I would recommend going out by 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then placing in a 2x2 two two light source just to maintain symmetry. It doesn't have to be 2x2. Two two. A light source in any of those positions will work. So go ahead and repeat that on all sides. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two by two. <laughs> That's not quite two by two. And yeah. So your farm is now, once you've gotten in those light sources, it is completely done. And it should be fully operational once your wheat plants start growing, which is the only thing that takes a while for this farm to start up. Your farmers will start harvesting that wheat and it will be collected by the hopper minecarts. And it will, yeah, you'll have a fully automatic wheat farm that produces a 
ton of wheat per hour. This thing produces so much wheat, more wheat than I would ever use in a single player world, but it would be great for multiplayer. So I did hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. But I hope you all have a wonderful day and we'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye!